ready? We're about to blow this out of proportion. Well, at least check proportions. A proportion is the is when two rates or ratios are equal. Now, the ratio is the quotient of two numbers, whereas the rates is the quotient of two quantities. Anyways, let's check to see whether or not these guys are in proportion. How are we going to do that? Oh, a little slick trick called cross multiplication. It's all whoosh, this one times that one and this one times that one. What is it? It's equivalent to getting a common denominator and comparing the two numerators. It doesn't go after the least common denominator. No, it just goes after a common denominator. So let's go and let's do this. Yes. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to cross multiply this times that and then this times that. So I'm looking at 4 times 21, and I want to see whether or not that's the same as 7 times 12. Well, 4 times 21, that's a 4, and that's an 8. Great. That one's an 84. So 7 times 2 is a 4. You carry a 1. It's okay. They're not heavy. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 1 is 84. Are those two the same? Check proportion. Naturally. Well, let's see about nature. Last week, I was in a redwood forest. And a ghost dream waters? This land, this math, is made for you and me. Anyway, there's a mother and a father tree in this park that we had gone to. And the sign said um, that the circumference of the father tree was 66 feet and 9 inches. Whereas the height of the father tree was 250 inches feet tall tall redwood tree I would name it Clifford 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 the big redwood and the mother tree was had a circumference of 70 feet that was around the base and that tree was 329 feet tall we want to see whether or not these guys are in proportion but we need to get them all in the same units. So this guy, 66 point, or 66 feet 9 inches is 66.75 feet. That sounds about right because that's um, three fifths a foot, three fourths a foot. I'm misstepping all over the place. <laughs> feet step. Let's march on through this problem. So what are we looking for? We'll set our rate. We'll set our circumference to height, and we need to keep them right so that the circumferences are on top and the heights are bottom. You could have flip-flopped them, and those we're checking to see whether or not those are in proportion. So we'll go, and we'll say 66.75 is to 250. We want to know whether or not that's going to be the same as the circumference here to the height there. The to the goes on bottom. We're doing circumference to height. I might mention that you could see these several different ways. You can see this as C2H, that's circumference to height. You can also see it as C2H, that's circumference to height. Or you could also see it as C2H. And then that's circumference to height, right. Circumference on top, height on bottom. And that's how you could write your ratios. And here we go. This ratio, this is a 70 to um, 300, no, yes, 329. And we want to find whether or not those are in proportion. So again, we're going to use that old trick, cross multiplication. Whoosh. Oh, that's 66.75 times 329. That's 21,960.75. Did it in my head. No. It's written on the wall. Okay, we want to know whether or not that's going to be 250 times 70, which is 17,500. Are those in proportion? They're not in proportion. I don't know. What do you want from me? If they're in proportion, they'd be the same. I thought that they would be closer too. You know what? I'm going to make it like a tree and I'm going to leave this example.